Who is the black nun who haunts the Bank of England and its streets? Have you seen my brother? Welcome to Friday Night Ghost Frights from Haunted Road Media. I'm author and ghost story and Mike Ricksecker. Explore with us. The Black Nun is a ghost who notoriously haunts the Bank of England and its surrounding area. Who was she and why does she haunt this section of London? Philip White had worked in the cashier's office of the Bank of England in 1811. Although he was well liked and generally considered genteel, he got caught forging documents, defrauding the bank and embezzling money. For his crimes, Whitehead was sentenced to death by hanging quickly and judiciously. Yes, in the 1800s, you could receive the death penalty for something that we would consider a white collar crime today. To the bank, all was resolved and the matter was to be forgotten as an unfortunate incident. What they didn't count on, however, was Philip's sister, Sarah. Sarah Whitehead had not heard from her brother in some time and grew worried. Executions back at that time were still pretty common and the news of his death had not been widely dispersed throughout the community, so Sarah knew nothing about it. Sarah decided to pay Philip a visit at the bank and was turned away, simply being told that he was away on bank business. Fair enough, she accepted that and left, but she returned the next day and was given the same excuse. And so it was the next day, and the next, and the day after that. Finally, one bank employee took pity upon the woman and told Sarah the truth of what really happened. The news that her beloved brother Philip was a thief and had been executed broke something inside of Sarah, and her life, and her afterlife, became entwined with the Bank of England on Threadneedle Street in London. Sarah continued her daily visits to the bank asking about her brother, but did so completely dressed in black, a long black dress matched with a black crepe veil. Thus, she became known as the Black Nun. Merchants in the streets took pity upon her and would offer her assistance as she passed on her way to the bank. Directors and clerks of the Bank of England also pitied her and at times would give her sums of money in compliment of her inconvenience. However, with each visit, Sarah became more agitated and became louder and louder as she asked about her brother. Not only did she yell at bank employees, but she began insulting the bank customers as well, pushed people out of line and began demanding money from the bank, convinced that she was being kept from some huge fortune. At one point, Baron Rothschild was simply doing his business at the stock exchange when Sarah Whitehead approached him, called him a villain and a robber, and demanded the 2,000 pounds she thought he owed her. He calmed her down by giving her a half a crown and telling her, there then, take that and don't bother me now. I'll give you the other half tomorrow. These antics continued until 1818 when a compromise was finally struck. Bank officials agreed to give her a large stipend of money in exchange for whatever grief she was feeling from not being told about her brother's execution and for her disappearance from the bank premises. The black nun was never to step inside the Bank of England again. Sarah agreed to these terms and held true to them. Staying outside the bank, although she did continue to dress in black, the black dress and veil, for the rest of the days of her life. When she passed away, she was buried in the churchyard of St. Christopher Le Stocks, which later became part of the bank's garden. Thus, the black nun was back inside the bank once again. Bank employees began seeing dark shadows in and around the bank. And over time, these manifested into the form of a woman in a flowing black dress and veil. She's been seen both in and outside the building, sometimes down a hall within the bank, or sometimes along the street outside of it. Witnesses have reported moans and wails emanating from the mysterious woman in black, but also the question, have you seen my brother? They say it's a sad, lonely woman behind the veil, and they say that she'll morph into existence out of nowhere. One American tourist described the following, I was on a short visit to London and was walking alone in the late evening along Threadneedle Street, near to where the Bank of England is positioned. Suddenly, without warning, this lady was walking towards me. I don't know where she had appeared from. One minute she wasn't there, and the next minute she was. The lady looked strange and was dressed all in black in what I thought looked like the style from the 1800s. She was wearing a black bonnet with a long veil, and her dress was long and full. I could see her face through the veil, and she looked sad. As I passed her, she glanced up briefly and asked in a soft voice, Have you seen my brother? I muttered no in reply. Almost immediately afterwards, I turned around to have another look at her. But she had disappeared. There was no one behind me other than a couple walking in the same direction as me. 
I've since read that the Bank of England has a ghost known as the Black Nun. I wonder if this is who I saw. Some say the Black Nun has even ventured down to the local underground platform, originally built on the pits of the Great Plague in an old safe house from World War II where 19 civilians lost their lives during German air raids. Commuters have witnessed the ghost of Sarah Whitehead, morbid and despondent, wandering the platform and station, searching for a long deceased brother. Have you seen my brother? Thank you for watching Friday Night Ghost Frights. Please check out our other ghost story videos off to the side. I'm Mike Ricksecker. Till next Friday night.